ndani. Hebu nafanya nini huyo kuja kuinstall demo yake? Ndio kile kika tatu hizi. Sijuie hiyo njia hii. Usimuone usimuone kuna njia hapo. Sogezea hapo.
Good morning, everyone. We want to welcome you this morning to St. Matthew's United Methodist Church. We're so excited to see everyone here today as we celebrate World Communion Sunday together. Uh, my name's Adam. I'm one of the pastors on staff. Whether you're here with us in person or watching with us online, we are so excited to have you here. If you are a guest with us today, there in front of you in your pew, you can find a Connect card that we would love for you to fill out and drop in the offering plate as it goes around. Also, at the very end of our service, we want to invite all of our guests out the back sanctuary doors and to the left. There's a welcome table there. We would love to greet you, to thank you for being with us. As you came in today, you should have received a worship guide uh, there on the inside panel. Lots of announcements to lift up. The first one is the menu for Wednesday Night Live this week. It is Taco Week. Uh, which I know lots of you look forward to. We invite you to come out and join us for dinner and then stay for all the different opportunities after. Uh, the next one there is tonight we have our third installment of the Family Movie Nights. We'll be watching Toy Story 3 in Gordon Hall at 6 p.m. Uh, the next one is that our Hall Halloween costume drive is wrapping up this Wednesday. If you have not donated yet any gently used Halloween costumes, or we talk to them, if you want to go out and purchase a new costume to donate, you're welcome to do that as well. You can just bring it by the church. Uh, notice the information there about Trunk or Treat. Uh, we've been saving the date for that for a while, October 27, 3 to 5 p.m. After the service today, if you go in the upper colonnade there at the reception desk, uh, there is the candy cauldron where you can place your candy donations. Every year we say we need more candy than you can imagine, and we usually collect that much, and then we have to get even more. So you cannot donate enough candy uh, for Trunk or Treat. We encourage you to join us in that. There's also the sign-up poster to sign up for trunks if you want to host a trunk, or for Rocking Chair Boulevard. We set up a row of rocking chairs. If you would love to just come and sit and hand out candy, you can do that as well. Uh, at the bottom there, you see a couple trustees fall work days. Uh, the next one is this coming weekend, October 12th at the River City campus, and then the weekend after that here at the Browns Lane campus. If you have any questions, the chair of our trustees is Charlie Stevens, and you can contact him. His email is listed there. Uh, a couple of things that are in your worship guide is inserts that we want to be sure to lift up. Uh, there is information about the United Methodist Committee on Relief Response to Hurricane Helene. You can see lots of information there about how you can either make a monetary donation or there's also a huge need for flood buckets. And you can get all of that information there at their website or by scanning the QR code. Um, also, you notice their information about our creation care hikes. Uh, we're doing a creation care series during the month of October. And the first hike for that is this coming Saturday at 10 a.m. at Beckley Creek Park. But the information about all those hikes and trails are there on the back. Uh, we tried to keep uh, different ability levels in mind and different ages. So uh, join us for a hike that would work well for you. Uh, obviously, too, we have some guests with us this morning. We are very excited to welcome the Butchel and Geely Choir. Uh, who will be celebrating worship with us today and singing later in the service. And so we want to welcome them here with us today. I think those are all the announcements we have today. Again, thank you for worshiping with us. Let's prepare our hearts for worship with our opening prelude.
Would you please stand for the call to worship? We gather to worship, celebrating the boundless love of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shines as the radiance of God's glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we lift our voices in praise. God reigns over all the earth. We join with Christians from every corner of the globe. We unite in worship, giving thanks for the gift of Jesus by celebrating the bread and cup he shared. Amen. As you are able, would you remain standing for our affirmation of faith, the Apostles' Creed that is printed there in your worship guide. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
as we go to the Lord in prayer today, you, you can be seated. As we go to the Lord in prayer today, we will leave a time of silence in the midst of our prayer where we want to invite you, the congregation, to speak out loud the names of any of those who are in need of prayer in your life. Let's go to the Lord in prayer today. Lord, we thank you today for this celebration of World Communion Sunday. Lord, this opportunity we have to reflect on the reality that we are not just the church inside these walls, but we are the church around the world. And Lord, regardless of who we are or where we live or the color of our skin or the language we speak, we join together at your table. We share together in the body and the blood of Christ, and that makes us one. Lord, help us to celebrate that unity as we worship together today. Lord, we come to you especially today to pray for those victims of Hurricane Helene and all those uh, who have suffered devastation in its path. Lord, we pray for comfort and for strength. We pray for those first responders who are continuing to reach out to those who are in need. And Lord, we pray for the ministry of folks like the United Methodist Committee on Relief who are coming around them and providing uh, vital support and supplies at this time. Lord, help us to join in that work, to be the hands and feet of Christ to those who are most in need in our world. Lord, we pause today to lift up to you all those who are in need of prayer in our lives. We know that you know them already and you know their needs, but Lord, as we lift their names up to you, we pray that you would pour out your grace and your peace upon each one. Lord, for all the, these that we've named out loud and for all those that we've named in our hearts, we ask, Lord, your blessing upon them. And bless us as we continue to worship together this morning and be with the Butchel and Julie Choir as they lead us in worship, that we will be drawn in by your spirit and be drawn closer to you. We pray all this in Christ's name and all God's people said, Amen. We will continue to worship today by giving of our tithes and offerings. We'll invite our ushers to come forward at this time. Uh, we also want to remind you, especially if you're watching with us online, that you can also give by mail, by text, or directly on our website, stmatthewsmethodist.com. Uh, we also wanted to let you know that at the end of our service, we'll be receiving a separate love offering for the choir this morning. And so we wanted you to be prepared to be able to give to that as well. So let's honor God with our gifts today.
Lord, we praise you today for your never-ending generosity in our lives, that you continue over and over again to pour out your love and your grace. We pray, God, that our response and worship would be generosity, that in all that we have and all that we are, we would honor and glorify you. Lord, bless our tithes and our offerings today, that they would be used for your kingdom and your glory. We pray all this in Christ's name. Amen. You may be seated. We are excited today to introduce the Butchel United Methodist Church in Geely Choir. Uh, I was asking them before the service, in Geely means gospel uh, in Swahili, so this is their church gospel choir. Uh, just so that everyone realizes the connection between our churches, uh, we actually share a staff person with Butchel United Methodist Church. Their senior pastor, Pastor Michael, is also our Hispanic, pa our Hispanic pastor here in our congregation. And so uh, when he came with the invitation for their choir uh, to come and sing, we jumped on the opportunity. We also felt like it would be a wonderful way to celebrate World Communion Sunday and our unity together as brothers and sisters in Christ. And so we're going to turn things over to them to lead us in worship, and then at the end we will come back together for our celebration of Holy Communion. Uh, so would you join me in giving a big St. Matthew's United Methodist Church welcome to the Butchel and Geely Choir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, uh, the translation of the song that we're about to sing is going to be in Swahili. Uh, in, in English, it says that the, the end of the day, the ending is coming. So let's get ready. Let's praise our Lord. Let's do all the right things that God wants us to do. Because when that day comes, it's going to be a judgment day. Amen.
Sikumbaya inakuja Siku ya tari sana Sikumbaya inakuja Siku ya tari sana Siku ya kusaga meno Siku ya kilio Sikumbaya inakuja Siku ya tari sana Sikumbaya inakuja Siku ya tari sana Siku ya kusaga meno Siku ya kilio Kachonjo Kamakini Epuka dambiwe Epuka uobu Ili siku hiyo na we Uwe salama Kachonjo
Aló, aló, aló. Kama 
Huge thanks to the Butchel United Methodist Church Choir. Thank you all so much. I think this is probably the most awake you'll have ever been for Holy Communion. So you gave us a big wake-up call this morning. If you would join me on page 12 in your hymnal for the service of word and table, we'll prepare our hearts for Holy Communion together. Hear this invitation. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's pray in silence together. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory to God. Amen. If you'll join me in the great thanksgiving on the next page, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, Jesus took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, when the supper was finished, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us, as we proclaim together the mystery of faith. Christ is God, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we might be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. And now with the confidence of the children of God, let us join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is the body of Christ broken for you. And this is the blood of Christ shed for you. At this time, we want to invite our communion servers to come forward first. They will kneel here at the altar and we will serve them first so that they can in turn serve you. As they're making their way forward, just a few quick reminders. We do practice an open table. Anyone who wants to respond to the invitation today is welcome to do that. We also have gluten-free wafers available as you come forward on the tray on your left. If you need a gluten-free wafer, just pick one of those up as you come. Uh, last but not least, if you need to be served in your seat at the very end, if you will just raise your hand, uh, we will come and serve you there. So let's prepare our hearts for Holy Communion together.
we're going to serve the choir first and have them come and kneel and be served. But then if we'll start in the balcony in the back of the sanctuary and follow in behind them, let's celebrate God's love together in Holy Communion.
If you would, stand together as you're able for our closing hymn today. Sorry, the message came up right while I was talking that said dead. So <laughs> that will not work. Thank you again so much for worshiping with us this morning. Thanks again to the Butchel uh, Choir for leading us in worship. Uh, there is a love offering as you're leaving today. I know you will want to be generous in support of them. I think the reason they're doing these choir tours around at different local churches is to maybe purchase some new instruments for their ministry as well. And so that's a wonderful way that we can support them. Uh, finally, remember, if you're a guest, if you go out the back sanctuary doors and to the left, there's a welcome table there. Uh, we'd love for you to take a travel mug or a coffee cup. Just thank you so much for being with us today. As you go, would you receive this benediction? May the love of God the Father, the grace of Jesus Christ, his Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, both now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great Sunday.
Seven, seven. 